At some point in your business, a customer may want to return something or may want a reduction on the price you charge for service. You handle this by issuing a credit memo. A credit memo is similar to an invoice, but it reduces the customer's balance. The customer may want to use the credit to make a payment on a current balance or to go towards a future purchase. Or the customer may want a refund. And this video will show you how to create a credit memo. Let's say Paula is having a bit of buyer's remorse and wants to return the expensive fountain she purchased. So we'll go to the customer center and locate the invoice for that purchase and double click it to open it. In the invoice, click return slash credit and QuickBooks opens a credit memo. So she's only returning the fountain so we can delete the other lines. We'll right click and choose delete line, right click, delete line. Now she only purchased one fountain. If she had purchased two fountains and only wanted to return one of them, you would change the quantity from two to one. Just wanted to point that out. So everything looks good and we'll click save and close. And it doesn't have a class, but we'll save it anyway. And QuickBooks asks what you want to do with the refund. She doesn't have any open invoices to apply the credit to, and she doesn't want to use it to apply to a future invoice. She just wants the refund. So click give a refund and click OK. So QuickBooks is assuming you'll be writing a check, and so chooses check and chooses your checking account. But if you were, say, a retail store, and you needed to refund the credit on the spot, you could choose cash, and you would choose the cash account to use for your retail store. But we're doing it by check, and we don't need to assign a class. And finally, you could type a memo here. You could add a note about the reason for the return or write the related invoice number down. So potentially, the customer could see this memo, so you have to be nice. And QuickBooks checks the to be printed checkbox, and that puts the check in the queue for your next batch printing. So click OK and save anyway. So go ahead and close the invoice, and let's take a look at the credit memo. QuickBooks stamps refunded on the credit memo and has recorded the check in your checking account. So let's close this credit memo. And let's say a customer wants to return an item, but wants to keep the credit on file for a future invoice. So we'll locate that invoice and double click to open it. Click refund credit and make the changes on the credit memo. So when the fountain was installed, the customer wasn't quite convinced that he needed the ice eliminator, so he wants to return that, but the other items we can delete. So right-click, delete line, delete line, delete line. Okay, everything looks good. I'll click Save and Close. And Save anyway. So since he wants to use it on a future invoice, click Retain as an available credit and click OK. So the next time you would create an invoice for this customer and save it, QuickBooks will show a message that says credits are available. And to use them, you would just click Yes. So that's it for handling credits and refunds. Let's close this invoice. And another video will show you how to apply the credit when receiving a payment.